Hi, I'm going to open up SOLIDWORKS and show you how to create a curve using XYZ points and we'll use that curve to create a sketch we can then utilize to make parts. So what I have right now is a part open, but I haven't created any sketch yet. SOLIDWORKS is going to want you to provide them a list of X, Y, and Z points. So I'm going to create a set of zeros over here. It also does not tolerate having anything in the header, so you don't want to have another column here that says X, Y, and Z. Just save it like this, and it needs to be saved as a text file. So I'm going to go Save As, and down here, instead of a common delimited file, I'm looking for my text tab delimited. All right, I'm going to double click on that just to show you this is now I have my three columns of XYZ data. Come over here to SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to now just let's get in here. So XY data is going to produce a curve that lies in the XY plane. If I had just said YZ data, I'd be in the YZ plane vice and, and so on. Or if I had XYZ data, I'd have a curve in three dimensional space. So I'm now going to go insert, curve, curve through XYZ points. I'm going to browse. It looks for its own proprietary curve format. I'm just going to go to my text file, double click, and those are my curve points. And I'm just going to say, OK. And if I zoom all, we should be able to find our curve there. It's somewhere in space. Now, I can't utilize this curve until I import it into a sketch. So I'm going to go sketch, create the sketch, and the front plane is parallel or the same for all intents and purposes as the XY plane. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. But how do I get this curve into that sketch? Well, I'll use my Convert Entities tool, select that curve, and say OK. So now I have a curve that's in the sketch that I'm now sketching on on the XYZ plane. Uh, just to finish up this part, I'm, this is actually a profile for a cam. And uh, I'm just going to create a circle here. And you see that my base circle for the cam is one inch. And I'm rise, I'm, the next circle will be to the rise of this portion of the cam. Again, I'll make it a construction circle, and that goes out to 1.5 inches. And the angular angular displacement for this section of the cam is, I believe it was 60 degrees, if memory serves properly. If I go out to here, and I'll put my smart dimension in and make it a driven dimension. So yeah, 60 degrees is what I had done. All right, and now you could go ahead if you had additional curves that you wanted to bring in to bring in here, you could always bring them into this sketch and you'd have to move them around. For instance, if you brought in another curve that say looked like this but you want it to be another orientation, I'll show you with this curve here, you have your different sketch tools. So in this case, you have the mirror entities tool. I could of course mirror this one and mirror it about this point. So now, of course, I could use these curves to complete uh, any type of part I wanted. In this particular case, I could just go ahead and finish the cam part. And go ahead and just extrude this part. Use my selected contours and I'd be done and I'd have my sort of lima bean shaped curve.